Tilt the seat assembly forward until it stops. Use a 13mm socket and a 15mm wrench to remove the two bolts securing the seat assembly. Unplug the seat cable switch and remove the seat. Use a T30 bit to remove the four screws securing the back rear cover. Lift the tractor's rear wheels off the ground. Use a 22mm socket to remove the eight lug nuts securing the two rear wheels, four on each side. Use a T20 bit to remove the four screws securing the left and right cover assembly, two on each side. Loosen the wire buckle and adjust the deck height adjustment handle to the middle position to remove the left and right cover assembly. Use a 12mm socket to remove the two bolts securing the depth stop plate. Unplug the two connectors. Pull the handle backward and use a plier to remove the spring. Use a 13mm socket to remove the four bolts securing the base assembly. Use a 10mm socket and wrench to remove the two bolts securing the brackets, one on each side. Use a 10mm wrench to remove the two nuts securing the brackets, one on each side. Use a 10mm socket to remove the 8 bolts securing the rear axle assembly, 4 on each side. Use a H5 bit to remove the 5 screws securing the drive motor. Carefully pour the 200 milliliters of specialized synthetic gear and bearing oil into the hole. Install the driving motor and tighten with the five screws. The required torque is 7 to 8 newton meters. Install the rear axle assembly and tighten with the eight bolts. The required torque is 49 to 51 newton meters. Install the bracket and tighten with the nut. Securely tighten the nut and ensure the rear axle propeller shaft cannot be turned. Then turn the nut counterclockwise until the wheel begins to turn. It is also essential that the nut fits perfectly on the shaft. This process should be repeated on both sides. Tighten the bolt to secure the bracket, one on each side. Install the base assembly and tighten with the four bolts. The required torque is 17 to 18 newton meters. Pull the handle backward and install the spring. Install the depth stop plate and tighten with the two bolts. The required torque is 8 to 9 newton meters. Plug the two connectors and route all the wires in the slot. Install the left and right cover assembly and secure the seat switch cable. Tighten the cover assembly with the four screws. Install the four lug nuts on each side. Required torque is 101 newton meters to 103 newton meters. Install the back rear cover and tighten with the four screws. Install the seat assembly and tighten with the two bolts. The required torque is 18.03 to 20.07 newton meters. Plug in the seat switch cable and rotate the seat back to the upright position.